Hey everybody, this is Jadabs here, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about some news that came out last week in the video gaming community. If you didn't know, last week Nintendo had a Animal Crossing Mobile Direct where they uh, revealed their new idea for their Animal Crossing game, and kind of a release date? We'll get to that later. Anyway, this game is called Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, and it seems amazing. First off, I don't talk about how I like Animal Crossing much on this channel, so I think I'd better. Uh, first off, Chogu Khan really got me into the series with his Animal Crossing New Leaf Let's Play. I really enjoyed it and thought I should c get it for myself, so I did, and I really enjoyed the game. I don't have a ton of stuff unlocked in it yet, but I do really enjoy the game and think it is very fun and worth the grab. I really like the new update, even though I don't have any amiibo or an amiibo scanner for my 3DS, but that's okay. Uh, I just want to say that I really, really like Animal Crossing. I sadly have only played New Leaf. Uh, Happy Home Designer seems good if I can find it for a cheaper price, not something I'd pay for full retail for. Which, funny story with mobile, Happy Home Designer was actually supposed to be a mobile game, but then they figured it's not quite good enough, not quite enough to be a mobile game, and yet they put it on their Nintendo 3DS. I don't quite understand why, but I do believe they are putting they are putting the Happy Home Academy kind of features on this version of the game in Pocket Camp, which is good. So let's get into what it is about. First off, I'm super excited for this. I always thought Animal, Animal Crossing would be a good fit for mobile if they ever, if Nintendo ever did a mobile thing. Uh, first off, this game is going to be about you uh, being a campsite manager and just kind of being, uh, managing your camp, making sure everyone's happy there, uh, giving it a nice flair, you know, having, giving it new stuff, putting furniture there, giving it new big things like pools and stuff, and just making sure that all your villagers are out having a good time. While you're doing that, you can also manage an RV, which is kind of a nice little house space, so you can customize an outside space and also customize an indoor space, which is really cool. It's much smaller than a house, obviously, but you can get a second loft on it. Uh, I don't know if they're going to put any other expansions in it, but that's the thing. The other thing is crafting. Uh, so when you do favors for animals, now they're going to give you materials, and you can tell Cyrus to make something out of these materials, and you can make furniture out of these materials or, like, big installments to your uh, part, uh, yeah, campsite. So then uh, you can you know, have all this cool furniture there, uh, all of the may stores not be available are in the game, just didn't get that uh, day in the, from the market, all the stores which are in the game, you can do their, you know, uh, on the road selections out in this place, so you can have Able Sisters, the Nookling Junction, the Kicks, and all that good stuff, which is really cool, I really like the idea of still having that uh, design the option of going and buying stuff if you can't necessarily craft it yet or if it's not available to craft, which is pretty cool. Uh, I really enjoy the premise of the game. I think it's going to be an amazing game, and I really, really, really like the idea uh, of it being on mobile devices. I think it's going to be a really, really good idea. I think it's going to be very successful, and... Uh, <clears throat> If you have an Australian Apple ID, you can get the game right now, I've, I believe. I checked the other day, and it was still up. So, you can get the game, I believe, I, I, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, right now on the App Store if you live in Australia and have or have an uh, Australian Apple ID. Uh, I tried to make one. It's not that hard. The only problem was uh, I didn't have, like, a credit card to put in my information for, which is too bad. But that's all okay. I don't quite need it. I'm going to be waiting till it comes over here in November. Uh, but that's kind of my overall thoughts. I'm going to talk about the presentation a bit. It was a live presentation. Uh, it was pretty cool. And it just kind of detailed everything that we needed to know. So you can travel places in the campgrounds and in, in your camper and, you know, go to different, there's like a quarry mine where you can hit rocks to get ores. There's, um, like, uh, there's the marketplace, there's like a tropical island, there's the campsite itself, and probably a whole ton of other areas that I can't t name right now. And it's going to be a really, really fun idea for a game. I really like it, I really love this idea, and I think that it's going to be fairly successful. I did like the presentation, the narrator got a bit stale at the end, but that's okay. It was a 15 minute presentation, so it definitely showed off a lot of stuff. Uh, I know this has been quite the short video, uh, but I think that's all I really want to talk about right now. 
I'll try to do some coverage on it when it drops in late November or maybe afterwards because I have some news that I'll be uploading tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I guess I will see you guys in the next episode, uh, in the next video. I uh, hope you guys don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and you know watch more of my videos and all that good stuff. I will see you guys next time.